Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Noble Works. Let's continue. After the afternoon class and Hinata trots up to me. You know that part way means until we get to the cars, correct? Maiden heart. I feel quite uncomfortable hearing that from you. Wait, even you do? She has no desire of that sort. Huh? I turn my eyes to see Hinata's face covered in red. She rubs her cheeks with both hands. It's pleasant to see her acting like a kitten washing its face. Guess I have no other choice. Very well, let's go together then. Lovey dovey space time. Well, leaving her aside, let's go home together. Yes, of course. Good idea. I don't think there should be a problem with that. I would love to socialize. Are you sure this is okay? I thought we would walk home normally, but at Hinata's offer, I ended up borrowing her shoulder. It actually isn't doing much when you take into account the difference in our statures, but I'm glad to see her so pleased. I'm not heavy? I'm fine with this. She suddenly comes close to me. I see, so you thought that deeply about this. Throw them away immediately. I won't ask what you are imagining, but take it easy. She answers energetically. I don't know what the therefore alludes to. I'm heavy, you know. Plus, if I do so any more than this, won't I practically be hugging you? Why are you suddenly bursting with energy to do it now? As I say that, Hinata comes right up against me. We keep walking, though it's more like she's super gluing herself to me than landing her shoulder. Y yeah, it would be embarrassing to do with just us, let alone in public. Her face reddens with pressure. Don't worry, me too. Yeah. Her glued body separates a little. E? Eh? A motorcycle breaks its way through the crowds at high speed. What? Hinata! I bring Hinata to my chest and stay beside her. Dang, how dangerous! What was up with that? That's my line. Are you alright? Her face doesn't match her tone of voice. Hey, are you really alright? 
I don't think she got hit somewhere or anything. Hinata? Your face doesn't look so good. You all right? But? Jeez, it's not that far to the station, you know. Uh, right, got it. Pressured by her behavior, I assent. What's with her all of a sudden? I'm glad I haven't thought about watching TV in so long. There's a story about a girl who falls in love with a rich guy. However, the guy's parents already decided on a fiancé and the girl is interfering so they try to kill her. The guy was cool protecting her and all, but what if the roles were reversed? If senpai was harmed or got caught up in something dangerous on the way home, if it were my fault, what would I do? TV is taking a toll on me. That can't be right. Even if I consider it, the thought has to disappear immediately. But even if I've never considered it, I guess I can't say that it isn't possible. It can't be. That couldn't be right, could it? That isn't Grandpa, is it? In spite of everything, I don't think he'd do something like that to someone I love. Mom and Dad told me that there are always things to watch out for since Grandpa's company is so big. The tons of the things that are a matter of course to me won't pass. It's better to have money than not have it, but if you have too much, then the people around you will start acting strange. If any drama were to unfold, I guess Senpai would be the one who's targeted. Could somebody have seen me and Senpai together when we were going home today? Even if it wasn't Grandpa, he has other people who might see Senpai as a... <laughs> it was just a coincidence. If something really were to happen, there would be a lot more method behind it. I'm thinking too much. I'm thinking too much. I'm happy now, so I'm just getting anxious over every little thing. If I talk to Senpai about it tomorrow, he'd just laugh and say, What kind of crap are you thinking up? Right, end of conversation. So let's sleep now. Hurry up and sleep, then see Senpai. It's Wednesday. Good morning, Kunihiro-san. Yes, there's just about zero pain now, thanks to you. In terms of injury? Not at all. If I were to hide it or anything, you would send me off again. I speak jokingly. Huh? Something about her is strange. Kunido-san, is something the matter? Stare. Indeed. Urged by Hinata, I take a seat. It may be simple, but it isn't something to cast off. Hinata is the kind of girl who thinks about those around her. I wonder what is sprung up this time. So she has been acting sort of suspiciously. At lunch break, I managed to leave Hinata behind to try talking with everyone. I've done absolutely... I've done some things, but not of that nature. Yes, she has been paying undue attention to me since this morning. そういえば、なぜか見かけについて色々聞かれたな。
Really? What kinds of things? I believe it would be best to hear this first hand from Kunihiro san. Lunch break! Everyone is having lunch and Hinata has been called to the courtyard by me, uh, with me. Yes, they have decided to pass for today. Whoops. So that I may ask about the cause of your unusual behavior. Her complexion changes. It looks like she's done something one way or another. You went to Nagamitsu-san and Nagasune-kun to ask something? Yes, so can I ask why you would suddenly be so concerned about something like that? The one I love is worried. I can't just leave this alone. Was it a lie that we would do our best to solve together anything that comes up? I see. I understand that now. So, what did you think you might have the wrong idea about? May you? That depends on what it is. Can you tell me? To be honest, what Hinata was worried about is pretty absurd. And I suppose she was asking around because she herself thought it couldn't be. What kind of crap are you thinking up? That all could just be something from a story, you know. Is that so? If that's the case, it's true that we don't know the world of rich people so well. Just living in the detached Kanemoto household is a bit too much compared to my old lifestyle. Well, if that's what it is, then I guess we really don't know what could be going on. We paupers have it tough, but I bet having too much money comes with its own problems. Sounds possible. Well, not even going that far, there's maids or servants who've seen a secret they must know and the like. In going there, the one who came to mind was Minamoto-san. But even if, say, she ever got caught up in something bad, I get the feeling she could silence her employer through various methods. Oh, nothing. The image I have of our maid is just changing a lot. Studying, training, electric shock. Wait, okay, let's set that conversation aside. From now on, whenever something happens, let's think it through together. Whether I rely on you or you rely on me, it means we have to be together, got it? Mm. So she finally agreed. Well, now we have to have a talk with your grandfather. Let's get a clear answer to whether he's opposed to us being together. If he's opposed, well, I'm not thinking that he'll suddenly just give us unconditional approval. But I don't plan on giving up. We will talk thoroughly. We'll find out clearly what the problem is. Then I'll do whatever I have to do, to the best of my ability, to make him approve. I won't give up. Then I'll do my best to make him approve. If one time doesn't work, I'll try two. If two times doesn't work, I'll try three. If a hundred doesn't work, I'll try two hundred to persuade him. I can't bring myself to simply give up, you know.
Alright, I look forward to it. Hi. Hinata has finally regained her smile. Good question. I think seeing him up front would be better. You and I have the minds of commoners, right? Therefore, we might be thinking about this the wrong way. I'll try asking Minamoto-san. She might know something in connection to how to settle this. And even if not, it's Minamoto-san. I might be able to borrow some good expertise. I may be leaving this to someone else, but I have to try gaining intel first. I have something I'd like to ask. Next time on Noble Works. Thanks for watching everyone and have a nice day. Bye bye.